So yesterday, I don't know if you saw that the Travis Kelsey cut was trending. Oh, so okay. during a pre- yes, so during a press conference for the Super Bowl, uh, Travis was asked about a variety of topics aside from football, right? And uh, and they asked him about his haircut, the Travis Kelsey haircut. How people are asking for the cut at barbershops, and this is what he said: "It's absolutely ridiculous, and to do it and to do it on February first to throw me to the wolves like that—that that was messed up, man. I don't want anything to do with that one, man. I I, just, I I got a good fade if you need it, though. It's a two on top, a nice high to mid fade with the taper in the back. But I didn't invent that. I just asked for it. <laughs> That's really it." That was basically hitting whoever wrote that article. I think yeah. it was the New York Times wrote yeah. that original article. Congratulations. Thank you, Travis. You Y'all was literally baffled yeah. by this story. I didn't even understand. Only thing I gathered from that audio is why are you calling black people wolves, man, on February 1st? I think he meant Twitter. About? It didn't, but I hear what you're saying. I thought the same thing. But I, think, like, I think he who meant... You call, who you calling wolves, man? <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I saw that moving. People, black people was like, we can't have nothing. <laughs> but, like, but can I tell you the truth, though? I got bad news for black people. That haircut was co-opted mad long ago. That's why this is even dumber. But, it's not even news that Travis Kelsey but has the haircut. It, it, but it's, it's always, it's never when it was co-opted. It's do people get the story right? Right, because now they're saying it's Travis Kelsey invented the haircut. Right. right. Guys, <laughs> it's hieroglyphs. So Shawnee and I were talking. Shawnee, your dad, you think, had this haircut as far back as 1940. Yeah, in the 50s. Well, he was born, like, in the 40s. Well, so in the 50s, from the 50s when he was a teenager, he, was he said it. this was a military cut. It was called yeah. high and tight. The high and tight. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm 44 years old. In high school in the suburbs of D.C., everyone had that cut going back to 1995. Right. And I'm sure it wasn't new then either. No. So this well, whole thing tops, is... Because fades were already happening. Remember, Big Daddy Kane and all of them was doing fades. That was late 80s. Right, but that's a high top fade. That was, But it was still the fade. But it's still it's the, the fade, fade part of the, of, the, side, of the line right, on yeah. the side. I have a high top fade, essentially. It's as high as I can go. You know what I mean? It's as high as I can go. There's no fade. No, I have, I you have fade. a fade. You have, no, no, no. You it's have an inverted <laughs> fade. It's fading on top, and it still grows on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's a fact. Well, and you know what, though? Related to the Super Bowl, we, we forgot a big one, though. Huh. We didn't... Did we not hit Pat Mahomes Sr. with it? Oh, no. for his DWI. No. That was his third one. The fact that you have your, your son's Super Bowl this week, there's mm-hmm. already a lot of pressure, right? Like, they're the Kansas City Chiefs. They're the team to beat. They're mm-hmm. the... You... Everything has to be organized. And Pat Mahomes, his dad... I don't think he's. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a senior junior situation because I think their name is slightly different. But the older Patrick Mahomes, mm. bruh, you been. You're, he's there every week. He goes to all the games. He's in the suite. He's a part of the whole thing. And last week he was out in Texas and had to get drunk at a bar and drive home with an open sixteen ounce Coors Light sitting in the car. Wow, button, bruh. In twenty twenty four, you couldn't. Yo, if your son's that rich, at any moment you should be able to call your son and go, I'm going to need a limo to come to where yeah, I'm at but, right you know, now. I'm a grown-ass man. You know, I've been doing this my whole life. I can get oh, behind the wheel. No. Oh, no. Yo, you know, and you know what's messed up? Is that I said when I heard that happen, I said I did not know he had an issue with that. But it's what he felt like whenever I saw his energy. <laughs> He felt like a drinker and a cigar and a cigar. Yo, whenever you see him, he has the energy of like, uh, no, who's like looking at you like, yeah, I had a few drinks. What's up? Like he has that look (laughs) in general. (laughs) But yo, Pat, come on, man. Look out for your son. He did a good job handling it in the media this week, but man, come Uh, on.